In first section, we uh, learned how to use ChatGPT to write a sample resume. And after copying and pasting the job description, we ask, okay, please write a sample resume for the above job description. Or even I can do it like this right here. Uh, please write a sample resume for the following, following, following job description. Then I copy paste the resume from my board or from the website you see here and put copy paste it here. Even maybe you can use some uh, tools to uh, it can use the link. It is not necessary to copy paste. You can use sometimes it works only put the link and Put the link. For the, please write a sample resume for the following job description uh, in the in the I can say in the in the following job description link. You can understand and then run it. It will search. Sometimes even it works with the link, but sometimes it cannot find it. As you see here, it says that a job I cannot find it, and but it gives a sample resume that it should be. Uh, written it is a sample resume you see it can find some information and writes it anyway it works anyway <laughs> and it is good to know sometimes uh, it recognizes the link too but as i mentioned we are not going to use this way we are going to use this prompt it says that please write a resume for the above or following job description you give the job description before or after but using the following information from me specific you write about yourself for example what you have done the things that are related to this job don't write any uh, extra information that are not related for example you can write i am you can give your name your phone number your email your linkedin address the old education for example you have two or three certificate certificates your experience anything you can write like this phone uh, the, the same as this and write the information or you can put information in this way your name and uh, the complete information the same as phone email something like this your education experience professional development volunteer and even you can write it as a paragraph i am like Zahiri, and you can reach me at this phone number via this email you can also find i mean highlight the keywords uh, and bring the keywords necessary information that you have done and are related pay attention related information to this job now to start the job, I go above and copy paste this prompt. It says that I go to ChatGPT. Please write a resume for the above job position that I have used before, I have given, or I can say for the following job position. Using the following information from me. Then I provide ChatGPT as much as possible related information. So I go here. Then I can write this information or in a paragraph that I have written. Both of them will work. I copy paste the information that are related to this job and I have experience, education, my information. Then paste it after colon after this uh, prompt. So I asked ChatGPT to write a resume for the above, above job description that I'm going to apply, but using the following information. Then I run it. It writes the resume, as you see, based on the information that I have provided. Now look here. It says that, okay, you should put your name, your phone number, something above. Then uh, put your education like this, your field and university and the year and yet second for example or third anything that talk about your experience something like this but as you see there is no objective it is not written an objective that we had previous so i can write please i i can write this uh, prompt please add a suitable objective section for the for the above resume then run it you see it writes the objective that uh, we can use it but I, I see that this objective is a little uh, lengthy, so I can write, I order it, uh, cut it, cut it in half. You see, make, it makes shorter, even I can write it, okay, make it uh, shorter, even. You can use different uh, prompts, make it shorter, you see, make it shorter. So, 
this is the objective of uh, our resume it is ready and we can use it so i copy paste pay attention all the information then go to microsoft word open a new microsoft word and paste the information the resume that was written then save it the first thing that i save but pay attention when you are saving the uh, resume cover letter you should save like this first your name for example like Vazairi. then resume it is not cover letter it is resume then the name of the job coordinator training then the company if it is possible put the date to uh, when you need it you are going to send it it is easily located then i save it now i can come and tailor it okay i don't have the objective here i should put it here uh, i uh, can go it is at the end objective the shortest one yes this is the objective i cut it and bring it here put it here then uh, my name should go in the middle then after that i tailor it based on the information that i usually see on uh, here and then i i go down omit the extra information that i don't need so now it is ready so I bolt it and put it, okay, this is objective, this is the education, this is my experience, this is professional development, this is volunteer experience section, this is my skills section, then I tell it like this, make it more appropriate, you see? You can work on it. And this is the references. Now pay attention that this is a first rough draft that you have taken. And you can change it based on the info. For example, in this regard, this is a skill coach. I should read here the date. So uh, I check my documents and write the date, change it. And also when I check the uh, highlight the points, for example, it is written for um, highlighted points. I can go and add more. I can write, for example, uh, please provide me more highlighted uh, points for experience at digital skills so i go to chat gpt and write please All right please add more highlighted key points in my experience section for ccsyr then i run it i see the result as you see it brings more uh, points then i can copy and paste them here in my resume this part then bullet them then i can delete and uh, add for example this one is not good this is related this is not related i can keep and uh, work on them as much as it is uh, useful i can keep up it so even for the for example objective i can go and write on chat gpt mm, please uh, write and write please write another uh, better objective section for the above for the above uh, resume Keep it short as much as possible then i run it you see it writes another uh, uh, objective then i copy paste this objective and then bring it here put on the here so i can use this one or combine some some sentences from the above one with which one is it i think that this one is much better so i delete this one and i write it even i can change it edit it give the information that are necessary here but it is important when it writes, it chooses the keywords from my information that I have provided from myself and also the job description. It helps me to write an appropriate uh, resume. Even you can go and add other sections, change the sections that you want, for example, in your skills. You see here, it, it has given uh, some skills. You can go and ask it, uh, is it possible to write more skills, something like this, or uh, ask it to write uh, some highlighted points for your volunteer experience if you want, and you should add the date, something to change it. Now I go there and write, for example, I write, please write more soft skills related to this job, and after uh, writing, I can copy and paste there and change some of them. For example, these are the soft skills that I can use some of them, but they are all, all of them are related to the job description. Copy them, then put it here, for example. Then paste it here, as you see, 
these are soft skills and then again i can omit them uh, keep some of them or uh, use the most appropriate one pay attention that this resume is a machine based and should be tailored and edited change and remove unrelated information and add more uh, necessary parts but this part is very important make sure to ask someone the job counselor your friend someone who can help you in this regard to have a, a proofread on it check it and you should personalize it as much as possible that nobody can uh, say that it is uh, written by ChatGPT or machine look look here pay attention that there are some uh, tools that can recognize it is written by the machine for example when i copy paste the first resume that ChatGPT has written to me and write it here this is the first resume and analyze it you see, after analyzing, it says that uh, probably 27% it is artificial uh, written use, used by uh, machines. But when I go and uh, bring my edited one, as you see here, and copy, and now paste it here, then analyze it, it says that 7% it is maybe artificial written. It is human, uh, likely human content. So based on the information you see here it shows that this part it is uh, written by the machine so i should change this part so i mean that when you have used chat gpt uh, change as much as uh, it is possible the sentences the grammar the words the content personalize it as i mentioned here humanize it based on uh, your information and also give somebody to proofread it uh, and then send it in this next video, we are going to cover how we can write a cover letter using ChatGPT.